All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Antonio, thank you very much. I thank you because you are seeing what we are doing in Biafra. I thank you very much because you admit that my Prime Minister, my Odogu Mazi Simon Ekpa, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, he is doing the needful, he is doing the right thing, and the youths all over the world are rising and doing the right things. And I thank you, Mr. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Deputy Minister of Communications, the Biafra Republic government in exile. And I thank you that you have admitted that we are doing the needful and the necessary. I am so glad to watch this video of yours, and I will be back. <laughs> yes, Antonio, Antonio, I am back. I am back like I promised. Greetings to everyone that is watching this video right now. And this is an excitement in me that I listen to Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of uh, the United Nations. And Antonio, I want to appreciate you for your outspokenness, for your sincerity, and for your stance in this particular video that I am going to share with my audience. Why did I say so? My leader, Mazin Nam, the colonel, have taken the option of fighting for freedom. Ah, uh, my leader, Prime Minister Simon Ekpa, is maintaining and sustaining the legacy to fight for freedom. And you have uh, affirmed that the only way out is to fight for freedom, and we will fight. We'll fight because Nigeria, that have heard my leader, Mazi Namdi Okukanu, is a terrorist country. A terrorist country in the sense that no freedom of speech, no institution of law, no, they don't obey their law courts, and they, they kidnapped my leader, Mazin Namdekanu, and they've had him against their own law system and their own law court of law order to free him, and therefore we we'll fight for freedom. Biafra, we are fighting, and I acknowledge the fact that you have admitted that the youths all over the world are rising up and they are fighting. Thank you very much, Antonio Guterres. Now I am going to soft pedal right now for my audience. And uh, my name is Rafael Chamaka Jerry, as you all know. This particular video you are going to watch right now will blow your mind to know that even the United Nations admits that we can fight and be free. And so anybody that tells you, you will get your freedom through a peaceful means, it must be a peaceful way, a pre-peaceful protest. There is no peace on the way to freedom in this world. Even the holy book says that the world lies in wickedness and the world lies in iniquity. And for you to fight, for you to get freedom, you have to fight for it. And it is justifiable under the United Nations Charter that we must fight to get our freedom. And fight we will to get this freedom. Yes, fight we will. How can you not fight when if you protest peacefully, you are gone down? How can you not fight if when you ask for something that is rightfully yours, you are persecuted and you are sidelined and you are marginalized? How can you not fight? We have taken the option that Antonio Guterres himself have already very, uh, 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 validated. Fight for your freedom. Please share this video and make sure it goes viral. Rafael Chamakajere here. Airport, <laughs> Biafra Republic of Benin exile. Freedom for the people of Biafra. Freedom for all the indigenous people. Freedom! We move. Do not accept that what we have today is inevitable. Mm. Do not accept that you cannot transform anything. Mm. Look at the impact that youth movements have had in the world with fundamental changes that took place afterwards. Mm. So if we want to change the world, we need to fight. Mm. If we want to change the world, we need to unite, mm. we need to mobilize, we need to fight for a better future for all. And that means to fight those that want to keep things as they are because they 
serve their interests, but uh, in a way that uh, would put into jeopardy the perspective of the future of our planet and of the well-being of the people. I feel so empowered by what you've just said about collaboration, coming together, fighting for the things that we believe in. And I think that's a beautiful message that you've left us with. And I really appreciate that. How many policemen have you actually seen write a report? Let me tell you how bad things are. Have you, can you look through your memory, search through your memory bank and see if you can recall in your life ever seeing a policeman in the zoo with a pen and a piece of paper before. Huh? So, how do they remember everything that happened then? Are you telling me that the police here don't use pen and paper to write when they are citing you? Let me ask you again. I want you to please be honest. Have you seen a police or not on the road with AK-47 with pen on the, on, the, on, the, on the shirt? Because you are in a zoological republic. <laughs> Yeah, uh